Since the 1930s, car manufacturing at Ford's Dagenham Car Plant had been a major employer in the local community. In the summer of 1968, the women making the seats for Ford's car production line learned that their pay had been downgraded to unskilled. Paid much less than their male colleagues and ignored by management and the union, they decided for the first time to stage an immediate walkout in protest. Quickly gathering the support of women up and down the country, the strike soon gained media attention. You're still staying out? Yeah. You're not going back at all? No. no. We are on strike. All of you? All of us. All the machinists, anyway. So yes. no car seat covers for Fords? No, not from us, anyway. We're to stay there till we get it. Yes. Women don't make a habit of coming out on strike for nothing. As production ground to a halt, Prime Minister Harold Wilson intervened, asking Secretary of State for Employment, Barbara Castle, to resolve the dispute. With her support, and through the strength and determination of the women, a deal was struck with Ford that would lead to the Equal Pay Act of 1970 and secure their place in history for standing up for what they believed in. To celebrate, they let us have the canteen and we had a party. <laughs> I don't remember much of that. No, really. I don't remember you did, no. The women's story was the inspiration for the hit film Made in Dagenham. I only discovered through listening to a radio show, they were talking about a, a momentous occasion when they had helped create equal pay for women. Women get paid less than men no matter what skill they got, which is why from now on, we got to demand a level playing field and rates of pay which reflect the job you do, not whether you've got a dick or not. <laughs> <laughs> Equal pay or nothing. Yes. 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 All those in favour? Yes. yes. Everybody, out. Yes. How incredible that nobody really made a film about that optimism and that sort of sort of selfless, um, I suppose now you call it multitasking, but at the time it was just called getting on, coping. When we um, were watching the, the film in its final version, um, Steve and I once had this conversation saying, God, you almost feel as though it might be even better suited to a musical than a film, and I think there were certain sequences in it, like when the women, you first see the women in the factory in the morning, you could just imagine them bursting into song and you could sort of feel the scene lending itself to some fantastic choreography. And I came out of the show and I remember thinking, Made in Dagenham would make a great musical. And I love the idea that this is a kind of feel of an ensemble, you know, it's a sort of David and Goliath story, but there are loads of Davids, Davinas. And I phoned up Steve and I said, I think uh, Made in Dagenham would make a great musical. And he said, well, it's funny you should say that because I've already started talking to some people about making that happen. I said, well, if you do make it happen, I'd love to have a go at the music. Go, go, go! We're not entirely on fold, look! I know the feeling. Don't look, boys. With theatre producers, stage entertainment, leading development of the musical, international stage and film actress Gemma Arterton was cast in the lead role. She's, yeah, she's a star and they there's a reason these people are stars is because uh, she commands a stage she's got this fantastic presence she's got a work ethic that's unbelievable I love her because she gets laughs where there aren't laughs so she's uh, so you're always as a writer you know you think oh thank goodness so good God God bless ya. you know you've just given us some free laugh you give us a free comedy which wasn't there and sometimes you make they can turn a lyric uh, or a line and give it something that just give it a bump we are it is funny and life-affirming and um, it, I hope, puts the art form back on the map as a place where you can just tell stories in song. Uh, yes, you may not know all the songs before you go in, but I guarantee you'll be singing most of them when you come out. It's got the best, um, ballsiest, most vibrant, uh, uh, engaging, dirty, soulful bunch of men and women in the cast. Um, and we've had fun every single second of making it, and I think that transmits itself from the stage. Made in Dagenham is the incredible, uplifting, true story of how a brave group of ladies turned the tables and paved the way for a global change in pay equality. It's the story of the Essex girls who changed the world.